Hey guys, John V from Phone Rain. I'm here at CS 2015 with Asus. I'm doing a quick hands-on look at the Asus Zenfone 2. Now, they have two models. This one here is the more the higher-end model. It features a full 1080p display. The other one they have is 720p. Now, this one here, they say it's going to be $200 um, outright when it, when it launches. So, that's pretty aggressive in terms of the price point. Whereas the other one, they didn't really say what the pricing is with the uh, 720p uh, edition of this handset. But, you know, hopefully it's going to be you know cheaper than that. So um, it has a nice plastic finish. Of course, you could change the covers here, from, or it's going to be available in different back plates. Uh, depending you want, uh, depending you go, they have different types of textures, different types of um, you know finishes. Uh, this one here has like, has like a somewhat brushed look to it. Um, for the most part, you know, pretty. You know, I wouldn't say it's the most profound looking smartphone I've seen here at CES, but it's typical Asus, pretty much plastic. Doesn't scream anything that's uh, you know industrial, anything like that here. Uh, but for this, it should suffice for some people. Uh, on the front, you have a 5.5 inch 1080p IPS display. Nice, nice, great viewing angles. Uh, of course, you see a lot of smudges, but we're here at the showroom floor, so that you're going to see a lot of that here. But good detail uh, should suffice for you know surfing the web and whatnot. If we look in the sides, there's nothing on the left or on the right. The top, you only have the power button, three and a half millimeter headset jack. While on the back, they kind of followed LG's approach of putting the volume controls there. So volume up, volume down. You have a 13 megapixel camera with a dual LED flash system. Um, they say it's going to be really good for lower lighting conditions. There's an F2 aperture lens, a wide angle one. Um, uh, it's a five element lens there. And the front, you have a five megapixel wide angle lens. So they also kind of, you know, make uh, taking selfies a big standpoint. It's running the most up to date version of the Zen UI, which is cleaner than ever before. And it's it's running on top of Android 5.0 Lollipop. So right out, the, right out of the gates, that's pretty good news. You're gonna have all the new features of Lollipop in hand, combined with the more simplified, more colorful, and lively looking Zen UI. It should make for a decent experience here. Uh, you have kid mode, you have this wave of making certain photos or text messages private. So they've kind of enhanced the software quite a bit here. Now this one's powered by an Intel Atom 64-bit base processor, running at either 1.8 or 2.3 gigahertz, depending on the unit you get. Uh, now, it's going to have 4 gigabytes of RAM, which is pretty beefy. Who knows if we really need 4 gigabytes of RAM, but looking at it here, it's pretty smooth. Uh, very buttery fluid, just with some basic operations, switching between different apps. It's pretty quick, no lag. Who knows how it's going to handle games and whatnot, but right now, out of the gate, it's pretty fast and effective here. 3,000 milliamp hour batteries inside. You'll have LTE, all the good connectivity that you'd want to find in any smartphone nowadays. And all of this is going to be priced only at a pretty good $200 price point. So that's pretty aggressive. So if you guys want to learn more about the Asus Zenfone 2, you can check out our website, phonearena.com. It's John V. Thanks for watching.